Hello and welcome to Sean Ray Edits. Today's video is going to be all about making these glowing eye outlines. There's loads of options and customization for them, so let's get right into how to make them. To begin with, we've got to drag our footage into our composition. If you don't have your own footage, my footage is available in the link in the description so you can follow along at home. Next, we need to find a clear frame where we can see the pupil of the eye. Next, we need to go and double click on the layer to open it up and just expand this tab so you can easily see what you're doing. And then select the Roto brush. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can easily see what I'm doing. And then we just need to make a cutout around the pupil. Once you made a cutout around the pupil, just press the spacebar and let the Roto brush do its job. While the Roto brush is cutting out, it would be a great time to check that you're subscribed to my channel. Once the Roto brush is finished, I'm just going to go back over the footage to make sure it's all okay. And I'm going to be especially careful of the area where I open my eyes and close my eyes and just double checking that the outline is good around the pupil. Now we're done with the Roto brush, so we can close the layer tab so we can see our composition in full again. And now we need to go to Layer, Auto Trace, and we need to make sure that we've got the entire work area selected. Once this is done, just hit OK. And this is going to create a live mask around the pupil of our eye. Now that we have the live mask, we can delete the Roto Brush tool so we have our image back in full. Next, we need to make a new adjustment layer with the mask. But we need to make sure that the mask is timed properly. So go into your layer, go to the mask, and then go to the first keyframe of the mask. Next, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. And then we're going to copy and paste our mask onto this new adjustment layer. And now we have the mask on our adjustment layer still in sync with our original footage. Now we're just going to lock the mask so it doesn't intrude while we're creating the effect. Next we need to go to the Effects and Presets tab and find the Saber plugin. This is a free plugin that I highly recommend and it will be the top link in the description. Now we just need to add the Saber plugin to our adjustment layer. Now in the effects rack for the Sabre, we need to go to Customize Core, go to the Core Type and change it to Layer Masks. And then finally we just need to go to the Adjustment Layer and change the Blending Mode to Screen. Now we can see our original footage again along with the glow that we've created. Now we've created a problem where our glow is actually happening before our eye is even on screen. To adjust this, we just need to trim down our Adjustment Layer so that the glow isn't on screen when our eye isn't open. Now we just need to go back and repeat this process for the other eyeball so that we have the effect on both eyes. You can either create it on a new adjustment layer or on the same adjustment layer if you want them both to have the same uniform glow. And now that I've completed the effect for both eyes, it's time to go customization crazy. There's loads that you can do just built into the Sabre plugin itself to make these eyes look awesome, but there's even more that you can start doing if you start layering on other effects. So here are some awesome effects that I found work really well with this to make some really cool glowing eye effects. This Iron Man arc reactor effect is created using the CC blobby lights in conjunction with the Sabre. This green electric powering on is created by changing the start offset and the end size keyframes. This multicolored look was achieved using two separate adjustment layers. And this incredibly evil distorted face Terminator vibe look was created using the Displacer Pro plugin. It's a free plugin that I've applied to a roto cutout of the original face. And that's everything for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what you use this effect for in the comments down below. See ya.